Welcome back. I wanted to point a couple things out. The instructions say to use a, a, a zipper trim of 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. Um, for me, I choose to use 2 inches ju just for the sake of uh, being able to have a little bit more uh, to work with, and, and that's just me. Um, you know what? There, there's nothing wrong with 1 and 7 eighths of an inch, but for me, sometimes a lot of things go sideways, so that's where I give myself just a little bit more room. Now, I wanted to point out here, as you can see, I drew this chalk line. Now, this chalk line represents one and three eighths of an inch. Now, as I did my measurements, uh, this this mark will put the the hook and eye right along that loop, right along that line, right there. And I've done this off camera, so I do have a uh, so, so I have experience. I have experimented with this already, and it worked really, really well. So. The Another important step that you need to remember is you're going to be running your first line of stitches here, 3 8 of an inch directly on what would be this fold line or the zero seam allowance of your jacket or your vest. What you want to make sure with your brass fitting is you're going to connect it is that it's underneath. So you want this underneath so that as you fold it over it will then become exposed. Okay, we're going to go to the machine, we're going to tidy that up and then we're going to do our stitching down here. Here we are back at the machine. I've chosen, of course, to use my buttonhole foot. Now, my standard buttonhole l distance on my machine is 3.5. I did some testing off camera. 3.5 is a little bit too it's a little bit too tight. In this case, I widened my stitch to 4.0. I'm just going to put the presser foot down. And now I'm just going to gently just finagle it by hand just a little bit. There. Again, for safety purposes, I'm going to do my hand wheel and I'm going to stitch that over. Okay, so I've got good needle clearance. Everything's going to go, everything's going to go back and forth safely. And now I'm just going to run that line. Perfect. All right, we'll do that to the next one. Perfect. Now, as you can see, I've got uh, I've got two buttonhole stitches. Uh, or, well, they were buttonhole stitches. Uh, made sure that they're able to to go around the brass fitting on both sides safely and they're all tied off and I'll show you the opposite side. Uh, here are the other two sides. Of course you got your knots on the bottom. I don't think that's going to come apart in any way. If it does, well, yikes. Okay, the next step is we are going to uh, get our large piece of fabric. We're going to place our, uh, our zipper trim onto the fabric itself. Then we're going to do our 3 eighths of an inch stitch followed up by the pressing and the flipping and the pressing and then I'll show you how all of this works out. See you in a few. Back at the machine, we're going to be using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and a basting stitch. I'm using contrasting thread so that as I go along, you'll be able to have a better idea of what I'm doing. Now the next part of the of the process of attaching the, the zipper trim is you would then stitch in the ditch. And again, I'm using a basting stitch and I will quickly run through this. I'll flip it over and we'll talk more. Back at the board, everything is now stitched in the ditch. As you can see, we have our stitch in the ditch line right here. It's laying right underneath these two open spaces of the brass fitting. We've seen our buttonhole stitch here and here. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Jeremy, it's not secure. Look at that. 
you know what, you're absolutely correct in that sense. But we have two ways to do this. And one, you can trim this back a little bit and then you can just simply hand stitch uh, by catching just a little bit of the inside of the fabric and you can just secure this part on the inside or you can then choose, and I'll just flip this over, again hand stitching with a small gauge needle. Again you can do stitching in the ditch and you can just, and because you'll be doing it by hand, uh, it's certainly not going to be noticeable at all. And then you can go back and forth along the, along the two, uh, along the two openings in the brass fitting. And and I guarantee you, I guarantee you that either going stitching in the ditch this way, or securing it by by stitching it that way, or heck, if you really want to be that, <laughs> I guess that. Uh, Type A, politely. You can stitch it in the ditch this way. You can you can tuck it in and catch a little bit of the back uh, of the back of the fabric there, and that'll hold at warp nine. Okay, my friends, there you go. I appreciate you taking some time for joining me. Uh, I'm grateful that you did. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave me a comment. I really appreciate that. The more that you help me learn, uh, the better I can become. Secondly, uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe, and I'd love a big thumbs up. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.